Good morning, this is Kimmel Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. We're following developing news out of Rapid City. One man is dead after an officer involved shooting last night. Rapid City Police Chief Don Hedrick says it happened shortly after 1030 local time in the 1500 block of Haynes Avenue. Officers responded to a casino in the area for reports of someone showing and firing a gun in the parking lot. The man fired at officers when they arrived. Our officers returned fire on the subject and he is deceased. This appears to be a uh, attack on police officers at this time. A patrol car was hit one to three times, but no officers were hurt. South Dakota DCI is leading the investigation. A Redfield, South Dakota daycare provider who pleaded guilty to child abuse has received five years probation. 41-year-old Heather Roach was charged with hitting a one-year-old in the face on December 16th of 2020. Kelloland News spoke to a confidential source in the case in January who said the girl had extreme bruising on her face and purple and red dots in her ear from being hit. Roach was sentenced to five years in prison. However, all but 120 days were suspended. Roach, a mother of five, was not licensed with the state. A human trafficking survivor says education is key in fighting the crime. Rebecca Carey is the founder of a Texas-based anti-human trafficking organization. She was part of an awareness event in Sioux Falls last night called Hidden in Plain Sight. My biggest message to the world about trafficking is that it's not black and white, that it's very, very complicated, it's very dark, it's very, very hard to talk about, but it does not look like the movie Taken. Carrie also says each survivor's story is different. For resources on human trafficking, head to this story on Kelloland.com. Let's get a check of our weather with meteorologist Scott Munt. Good morning, Scott. All right, good morning, Sarah. Good morning, everybody. We are looking at a, I would say, relatively nice day. Uh, temperatures in the 70s and 80s, not as humid as what we've had over the past several days. And even a chance for these isolated showers and thunderstorms to pop up, I'd say late this afternoon, heading into the evening along and south of Interstate 90. Temperatures right now are near 60 degrees, and we have light winds. The winds will pick up a little today at around 10 to 20 miles per hour. Hour. There's a marginal risk for severe weather that takes us into the panhandle of Nebraska. As we do take a look at our forecast today, you can expect highs in the 70s and 80s. More details on your Kettle Land Live Doppler forecast with Brian coming up. Thanks, Scott. A Sioux Falls doctor says he is telling some of his patients to wait for a new COVID vaccine that is expected to be given approval soon. However, he is still recommending people with underlying health conditions to get their second booster shot now. Dr. Chad Turi with Avera says he is telling his healthy patients under 50 that they can wait for the new vaccine, which should be available this fall. And so it's going to include um, what is currently now in vaccines that covers the original uh, COVID strain, and then it's going to have um, a part that covers the BA4 and BA5 variants uh, better. Dr. Turi says the original vaccine is still effective at protecting people and keeping them out of the hospital. Pfizer and Moderna are already stockpiling supplies of the new vaccine in anticipation of approval from the FDA. A 15-year-old kid is making a name for himself in the world of sprint car racing. Ryan Timms isn't old enough to drive alone in his home state of Oklahoma, but has posted multiple wins this season at Houston Speedway. Timms isn't eligible to compete with the World of Outlaws until his 16th birthday, despite holding his own against some of the sport's top talent. I just need to race them the way I want to be raced, and uh, they'll, they'll race you good. And um, it's it's been kind of tough, like at the start with them and having all their that experience. But uh, we're we're getting it. I think he's earned the fans and the and the competitors respect. That you know, yeah, he's 15, but he's just another one of them, you know, and he can get it done. Tim's plans to make his debut with the World of Outlaws on his 16th birthday, August 26th, in Grand Forks, North Dakota. With the Sturgis rally right around the corner, more motorcyclists are preparing to hit the road. Some bikers are already making their way west for the Sturgis motorcycle rally, or at least preparing their bikes for the event. There are many things riders need to remember before they begin their ride to Sturgis. For people that are riding their motorcycles out to the rally, you know, make sure you check your bike over, check, make sure you've had your most recent service done, make sure your tires are good, make sure your battery's good so you don't have any, any surprises, and just, you know, pack smart.
It's also important to remember to stay close together when traveling in groups of riders and avoid other drivers' blind spots. Let's look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Carstens. Brian? All right, weather today while well, watching those temperatures into the 80s this afternoon. Now, given this forecast today, we do have a subtle wave that's going to be coming across uh, southern South Dakota mid to late afternoon and it is worth mentioning that a few scattered hits of rain could pop up and that's kind of a trend here we've been following this morning I'm not giving a lot of life to that but it's been interesting to kind of watch behind the scenes here in the last couple of hours this is maybe has a little more life to it I wouldn't count on it, but if you're in one of these dry pockets, many of you probably raising your hand, yes, we could sure use some rain again. Uh, maybe you keep an eye on the radar, your storm tracker app. Again, a couple of you could get involved with that. Setting that aside, it looks like the overnight forecast will be dry. It'll be cooler as Canadian air is really in full control here. For tomorrow morning, we're looking at lows maybe near 50 or 51 in Watertown. We'll probably yield highs only in the lower 70s there tomorrow. So, yeah, take it in if you like those 70s. Kind of a little refreshing break from the heat because here we go again. Look to the Pacific Northwest. All the heat you're hearing about in the news there. That is forecast to move to the east over time. It's going to take a while, probably the end of your seven day forecast. We'll start to see some pretty big uh, trends here in uh, parts of the plains. And I will use the word hot. I think 90s and 100s will be pretty common about a week out from now. We'll see how long it lasts. That's probably another big question we'll have to get into here. 83 our high temperature in Sioux Falls, 80 in Brookings, 81 in Aberdeen. The seven day forecast, upper 80s by the weekend. We still have a transition here to some of that hotter weather and humidity. So Sunday could provide an opportunity for a thunderstorm chance. We have placed that also in the Aberdeen seven day outlook. And then the weather beyond that, you know, that 93 on day seven is certainly hotter. 100 degree heat in Pier by day seven. So uh, we've had plenty of 100s already this summer, and I think we'll have more of that next week. Rapid City probably not far behind as those 90s are showing up as well Sunday through Tuesday. More coverage online at kettleland.com.